Cool. Here from me, and then we'll move uh, to in the room and online. Cool, man. Um, Where am I looking, bro? It's not here. You can look right at right at Vic. <laughs> look at Vic. I, I, I'll, I'll start. Dylan, obviously a good win to start. How does it feel to be back here at the Australian Open? I feel lucky, to be honest. Obviously, with everything going on in the world, um, I feel lucky and privileged to do my job. So, I also was a bit flat that no one was here because um, I've been commentating courtside on Rod Laver, Margaret Courts, I was like getting ready and then it was obviously a bit different but it's for the right reasons, you know, so it's also very hard to play one of your best mates. I always struggle with it. I, um, you know, I just, it's, you'd rather, if you're playing a final, it's a bit easier because you both got there but first round, you're like, bummer, you know what I mean? So, just happy to get, get through it. And where do you feel the game's at at the moment? My game? Yes, your game. Yeah, I feel good, man. I feel like I'm uh, in a good spot. I just, uh, my expectation of myself is just to be the best version of me every time. I don't have an expectation to win. Um, so if I do that, hopefully I do win. If I don't, as long as I'm going out there, one, having fun, two, playing my game, the results will come. And I think in the first set I really did that and then I don't, have, don't even know what I was thinking about in the start of the second set, but wasn't, wasn't concentrating enough. But credit to Heath, he played really well in that second set. So just happy to get out of there with the win. OK, questions in the room? Um, Dylan, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Win. Um, you commented on the no no crowds. Did you did you find you had to sort of create your own energy out there? Yeah, Craig Tizer, Ash Barty's coach, came up to me after because he was hitting next to me and said, "Felt like I saw the whole match because you were commentating it." Um, and I need to because I talk. Being talkative is something that's very helpful to me, as you probably know. Um, and I had to bring my own vibe out there. I didn't do that at the start of the second set, and I think that's why my level dropped. So hopefully this is a expectation I'm putting on myself now to keep talking, um, because otherwise it's a bit like a practice match, and I don't play as well in practice matches. You know, if you've seen me play here at Melbourne Park, I love the crowd. It's one of my things I love the most. So I'm missing them for sure. Uh, I'm missing them a lot, but I'm going to try and bring the vibe the best that I can to try and pump myself up. What about the, the you're playing for title number seven, feeling any pressure there? Uh, I'm not really thinking about it too much. Um, I think, you know, just trying to, you know, minimise what I'm thinking about, which is just, to be honest, getting some food in me next. I'm pretty hungry. And then, um, and then getting ready to play uh, a young kid called Niels next round. He is 18, I think, and he's bloody awesome. So, uh, you know, we're actually really good mates too. We played each other in a final went up before the French Open and we both didn't have coaches, so we actually warmed each other up for the final that we were both playing each other in. He's an awesome young guy. So I'm really excited about the opportunity to play him and then, you know, if, we'll see what happens out there. But just going to try and have, my, have fun and play my game. And um, the draw this year has expanded. A, a comment on that? I just want a, a big shout-out to the Australian Open, Tennis Australia. It's the first Grand Slam to extend the draw for the quad division. It's knockout, eight players, as it should be. And I think you saw by some of the calibre of the matches is great quality players. Um, it was a bummer I drew Heath first round because we always play each other here. But um, I think knockout's what it should be, eight players. So always leading the way the Australian Open, you know, putting us on a centre court, Rod Laver Arena, first time, you know, broadcast, wide world of sports, live, first time. There's something about this place that really embraces wheelchair tennis. So shout out to them and hopefully the other Grand Slams follow suit as well. And I think they will. I really think they will because they can see the, the benefit of it because people want to watch now because it's such an elite sport. Any more in the room? We'll go online. Uh, Tanya, your question, please. Just got to take yourself off mute, Tanya. You're on mute, Tanya. The standard Zoom call thing. It's all right. I do it all the time myself. <laughs> Hey. Sorry, Dil. You're right. Hey. Um, you're going for your seventh straight uh, quad singles crown, and um, I just wondered if you're still as hungry today as you were in the beginning to go for these titles. Great question. Uh, yes, I am here at Melbourne Park for sure. I did have a little lull at the end of last year at the US Open because it was the same time the Paralympic Games should have been, and that got postponed, and... I'd be lying to you say if I wasn't really upset when that happened. I tried to act like I was cool, but I was gutted because, you know, such a big build-up for four years. And I think I, I got pumped at the US Open final, and I think it was good that that happened because it 
rejuvenated my hunger. And then I played great at Roland Garros and I've had a great pre-season. I've put on a bit of size and been really smashing the gym and stuff and trying to find other ways to, to get hungry. And I'm really excited about being here at Melbourne Park. And you can't... If you are an Australian tennis player and you're not hungry to win the Australian Open, there's something seriously wrong with you uh, in terms of your tennis. So until I still have that hunger, I, I, won't, I won't be here anymore if I don't. So I definitely do. And I think the extended draw size, it being knockout, it being live on TV, all those things are reasons for you to get hungry. So I'm trying to focus on them and um, looking forward to my next round.